Guys, I recently put in the DSM integrated recovery kit into the base camp right here. Now, I put in the Hobbywing Fusion 2300 KV Pro. Yeah, it's in there. I'm going to show it to you on the table. We're going for a drive. Let's go. Well, check it out. These things are so simple. They work so good. And from what little bit I've been able to drive this inside, yeah, it's super nice. Especially with all the gearing of this. I actually did the uh, gear job in the middle of it and actually got it geared down lower like for straight axle, even though it's got the portals. Now, wheels are cheap Amazon wheels. Got the uh, J Concepts Tusk and it has a uh, Three Brothers RC anti-foam in these. So, dual stage. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's get this thing outside. 2300 kV stock pinion gear with the low transmission gears. Let's see what we got for speed. 3S. Not very fast. It's not going to blast any hills. At least not like, you know, some of my other vehicles. But regardless, it should be fine on the rocks. It has a lot of gear reduction in it. So, yeah, let's get this thing over there. I haven't given you guys like a shot of the Exoplex in a while. Just been, you know, quick stuff and videos and all that. But kind of a nice shot of it. You can see the Exoplex name going in on the wall. And the porta potty. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. If I get into a pinch, I'm going to pull out that DSM. Oh, look at that. I'm already in a pinch. Let's DSM this thing. See that little string heading up there? That's a little bungee cord. DSM. Look at that. And it's not like I'm testing tires or anything, right? Look at that. You hear that snap? Check this out. Look at that. Bam, it is there. We can keep on driving. Very nice. I haven't done anything down here on the low side through the little V notch area, the V groove, the spot that likes to fill up with water a lot. Ooh, 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 I'm about to go wrong. I knew I was messing that up. Oh, I fell down into it. That was not the best way to go through that. That's still a little bit of slow crawling here. Let's see what this thing can do. That's driving. And you're hearing the KST servo. Things are nice and quiet out here right now. So if it was loud, if there were people around, you wouldn't hear that. The servo is actually pretty nice though. It's the uh, BLS 359. It does really good. And this thing is geared really nice when it comes to this kind of stuff right here. On a trail, especially around here, uh, with the sand hills and, I'll say sand hills, we got some lumps. Um, you might, might want a little bit more speed, but this right here is driving really smooth. Really smooth. Those anti-foams are working like a charm. Uh, the Tusk tires, beautiful tire, hook up really good. Really happy how this truck has turned out. And I really don't have a lot of mods to it. I mean, well, hold on. Motor, ESC. Okay, maybe it does have some mods. But at least it doesn't have any brass on it yet. <laughs> Beautiful. This system, when your gearing is wrong, it'll be way too jumpy. Kind of like what I had in the stage dive truck. I couldn't gear it down low enough. It had the capper driveline in it. So it's really, really too jumpy. I mean, again, great for a trail, but not so much competition crawling. It's much happier in this vehicle right here. Nice. Nice climb. I haven't done the wood stuff in a while either. Man. And this piece right here was kind of by accident in that it's right there. Kind of by accident, really. I just kind of 
I drew the lines out where I wanted all the curves to be, then I cut it completely different. So, anyways, nice. Still running on backwards. I'm trying to even out what little bit of wear I was getting on. Oh, I thought I was into that. Oh, might be toast here. Oh, oh. Not done yet, but it's close to being done. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can DSM out of this. Okay, got the DSM hooked up over here. Let's see here. It should pull me around nice. Yeah. Oh, check that out. Success. Huh. Well, watch this. Watch this. Boom. Done. One final crawl with this. Uh, this system, the Fusion, it's beautiful. It is, the control is there. Settle down just right. Did you see what I had to do there? If you know, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Well, I might tell you at the end. So everybody that actually watches the whole video, I'll make sure to tell you guys. Almost flipped it. Almost, I did flip it. What if I can get out? Let's DSM it. Okay, I've got it hooked up over there. Let's see if. Uh... Look at this. Look at that. Now we're going to ease up over to it. Let it pop up. There we go. Let's keep on driving. Nice, nice. Yes. Yes. Come on. Give it a hot pop. There we go. Yeah. I like this Fusion, and the more I drive the base camp, the more I like that, too. Very nice. Well, guys, there you go. I've got to tell you, I'm liking the base camp. I think it's time to get some brass up there and start really taking this thing to the next level. A little bit of weight, you know? But that little thing that I did, and I told you I was going to tell you about it at the end. Well, here it is. What I did was it was ever so slight when I got that front tire up onto that thing, okay? I used the back side of the tire to physically hold the front down just enough to get it up and over the brake over and done. So yeah, that was exactly what I did. I tried it a few times and then I saw the little ridge. I, I cut that tire just, just a little bit to physically hold the front end down. So that was what I did to get that. Uh, the gearing on this, I could probably go up in pinion size in all honesty for a trail. Um, and I might do that in all honesty. I might, yeah. But anyway, for right now, I think it's pretty good. Now, if you're in a real fast walk, pretty much hold it full throttle and it's, it's just going to match you or you match it either way. But um, I like it and it's going to stay. Guys, in that description, I'll link up the Fusion. I'll link up the base camp, all that stuff. Make sure you use those links. They are affiliate links. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Helps out the channel when you guys use them. So check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. You guys are awesome, Dave. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.